Shh. It's a teen trap. I count all of you. Welcome, guys. I'll show you my teen trap. Well, here it is. Sitting in the snow. Let's get inside. All right. As you can see, this is my war gear. You could shift out. Uh, I actually would recommend that. Shift out my main hand and use like the fiery tomahawk instead. Okay. As you can see right here, we have like a lot of might destroyed, like 1.8 and 80, 80 million kills. That's pretty awesome for a 29 million might guy. But of course, it's a trap. So that's it's, it's just the way it is. Okay, squad defense all the way up to five. I'm going to show you my war talents. And then you just move on all the way up to, I think it's called Squad Health 2. And then you fill in like the, the archers and the infantry first. And then after that you go for the cavalry. So go all the way up. Open up to Squad Health 2, Ranged Offense 3. And then all the way down to Infantry Offense. Then go for the um, the squad health one, and then just fill in some stuff in um, the offense two of different kinds. I I will go for the ranged and the infantry ones. By the way, remember to fill up the first one. Those five points are pretty cheap. Get them. Okay, showing you my war stats. They're not good, but they work and. Uh, well, I'm just actually a bit happy that it works with only like, uh, I don't know, was it 170%? To 150 to 170? Well, it is a baby trap and I can only go that high. Working on my jewels, it's a mix of blue and green. I would recommend to wait uh, for you to get the blue ones, but, well, I just put them in the green ones also okay just to to get a little bit of, uh, of my stats raised a little bit that's what I'm trying to say all right showing you my infirmaries I am building up from 16 to 18 now and that means that I can get just a little bit more uh, spots in my infirmaries right now 360 and I guess I could go for like 375 or something like that. So that's pretty awesome. Well, I got a little bit more infirmary spaces in this one. Yep. What else can I show you? Nope, not going to get with that one. What I need are wood and ore and food when I'm trapping. Because that's what the infantry guys are using up uh, when I heal them. And it is my front line, so they take the punch. As you can see, I'm down to 15k grunts. 4 million of the archers, 2 million of the cavalry. The grunts I will go for like 80. That's what I can hide in the... In the... Um, what am I trying to say? In the shelter, without the leader when I'm trapping. And if an easy hit comes along, I'll pull him out. And that will save me some speed ups. As you can see right here, I'm going for 1 million gladiators again. I lost like a little bit when a golden champion leg guy put it in and really wrecked me. That was that was that was awful, but pretty fun when you look at it. Um, you know, that's just what happens. As you can see, I do not need the traps at all no wall defense nothing I only go for like the infantry offense and the range defense 64% bonus that's pretty awesome and then uh, the cavalry of course and then what I need next are the infantry health and then then I get like 46% of that I decided to take like uh, all the way up to army offense and get that 7% bonus in health and offense so I do not have the T3s 
trained yet, but uh, I don't know. I might make one or two to use for to trick someone. I don't know, or to send uh, if my guild are doing like a guild fest or something. All right. So as you saw right there, I didn't put anything into that, except I trained some subsidy. That means that I can uh, I get like a forty percent discount on resources when I train my troops so uh, yeah I just did that all the way up to 10 I'm not sure I will recommend it uh, I don't know how much might it gives but it's not that much so uh, I decided to go with it all right let's go into the cabinet for a while and look at the equipment this is what I got at the moment and well normally I tend to put in the greens because well it, it, it actually helps a bit and I just pull them out with 1k gems when I got enough to switch it out with a blue so uh, I might do that this is the one that I would not recommend uh, using I bought it with the green I think the green big guy pack for I got it for like five bucks but or was it the gray one it might be the gray one I'm not sure one dollar five bucks I think it's a five bucks one uh, and I just use it I would recommend using like the fiery tomahawk and uh, yeah it's pretty easy to get to gold and it has much better stats like 18% or something but maybe it's the same actually 666 yeah it might be the same never mind that but you know it's really easy to get like the golden uh, the burning scroll a bit up there if you cannot get that one go for the sentinels or whatever it's called the ones that I have to to gold just use two of them or yeah that would be that would be okay as free to play other than that uh, yeah I think I'll put in these not sure never mind that other than that I can yes I did <laughs> other than that I can tell you that the, this this one is pretty cool and it's free to play from monsters and also like the leggings from the bee is pretty awesome and it's also from the monsters so it takes some time to get them but if you hunt some monsters uh, you're actually able to get them free to play that is awesome right what else is there all right yeah let's let's uh, take some some gifts we have like a rule of killing, I think it is like, yeah, what is it? I think it's like two, yeah, it is two level two monsters each every day. And every other day kill a level three monster or an extra. Uh, yeah, so that's what we do. And that's why we get all of those. All of these gifts and as you can see I get some some gems sometimes if I'm really unlucky there are no gems at all at other times it's like 4k a day so uh, approximately like 2k a day I'll say that the, that's like the average and uh, then of course I can get some gems now from the uh, treasure troll I can get like uh, I can upgrade it a bit get like maybe uh, 11k or I, I don't know something like that a month and that of course also helps me to shield I use three-day shields and the reason I do that is I have like several accounts and I do not want to get stressed at all so what I do I put an alarm and every third day um, I reshield all of my all of my um, of my accounts and uh, that just bought me quite a bit of relaxation doing it that way it's not the cheapest way the cheapest way is to reshield every day but it was just too stressful so uh, I decided to use a three-day shield instead and if I had only one account I might even do a seven-day shield I'm not sure but I think three days Never mind that. This is the guy that are the strongest one in my kingdom. 
the RTT guys are pretty awesome and I just wanted to show you that even though I can trap most guys here I keep an eye out on who's able to make some bad adjustment to my to my trap <laughs> and uh, he would be one of them for sure Ugh, I do not even dare think of what will happen if he attacked okay so I want to show you my heroes on the wall and I'm working on them still we got Oathkeeper, we got Bomb and Goblin, we got Rose Knight, Demon Slayer and Snow Queen and as you can see right here these these are the stats that are giving all together I do not need the cavalry max hit points but the army attack I get him from these two guys and that's what I need it will get all the way up to 40 and that's awesome and then we add the infantry guys I need the hit points and the attack so we are up to 100 max hit points and infantry attack 60 and then we will get when I raise the snow queen to gold and to rank 7 I'll raise the attack um, that I get in my uh, from my archers in squad attack of course and uh, the 30% that she gives um, in attack in ranged attack so these are the guys that I plan to use or will use for sure so let's just have a look at them individually it's too late you know what I mean So actually these 200% uh, squad attack are really important so if you choose some other stuff or some other heroes I wouldn't recommend it but if you do make sure they have the, they have the squad attack as well because when you watch the fights you can see when they do like a special move uh, they really hit hard I do not know the mechanics but I noticed that, that it's really important alright I'm excited to have at least one of each type. Okay guys, that's it for me today. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you want more content, and maybe press that bell, that notification bell. Um, I'm just mentioning it. Have some fun guys!